today we got the uh, Jordy Lund Jump Jet, the memorial of Jordy Lund. Uh, everyone's come out, we got a bake sale, we got a big raffle draw going on here, lots of kids here, everyone's coming out because of what he provided our community, you know, like he's he's an absolute inspiration. Everybody wanted to do something, I felt. And they were like, of course, like, why not? We'll have a nice big jam with everybody and hang out and just get, yeah, everybody in here for a good time and just donate all the money to Jordy and his family. It's just great. Between Liam and Christina, we were able to get all the stuff you see on the back wall for the raffles. We decided to do a bake sale as well to try get more to get more money. And myself and Christina baked all the baked goods, but I didn't know how much work was going to go into it. We were in the kitchen from 9 o'clock a.m. to 1 a.m. last night. We were still writing for RAF on the on the brownies. So going back to 2002, I had the fortune of living with Jordy in various hotels around Whistler, running the summer gravity camps. He literally is my favorite person, I think, in the world. He's one of those guys that rubbed off on me in ways that I wasn't even sure of. He just never gives up. He never gives up. I think we're going to miss him. We're going to miss everything about him. He's just an awesome bike rider and he wants to make people happy with mountain biking. That's all he wants to do. And what does he make you do? Eat your... Vegetables. Yeah, so when Gus doesn't eat his vegetables, we used to FaceTime Jordy, and uh, Jordy would lean into him with his big diamonds and kind of scare him into eating his vegetables, for sure. I couldn't even tell you the first time I met Jordy, it was so long ago, I was, I was a little guy. Um, I kind of just grew closer with him over the years, you know, through my career, and um, I mean, what I can tell you about Jordy is he was loved by so many people, and uh, he made such an impact to so many people, and... That, that aspect of it is uh, really crazy. I don't think very many people are able to do that. You know, he's just always such a positive dude, amazing to be around and just so uplifting to everybody around him. Everyone's here today, good times today. It's all about good times and good memories. So let's just keep the good vibes going and uh, keep shredding, you know? Shred for Jordy. Yeah. Yeah, I make decisions to glow. Ridiculous flow, potential to glow. You know, I, I just do that. Consolidate my regions, line it up, put them together. Anyone that ever let me down, forget them forever. My memory's bad. Remember me, though? My memory's gone. My memory, it limits me home. No tree huggers, cause all the lumber's gone. If it's knocking on wood, pass through the hood when it's good and they chopping up wood. Breaking up stems till in my brim. With a limp like a pimp, though I'm shaped like a wimp. They put no fear in him, it's just me and the end of my time. Line. Flow like a fine wine, smelling like fine pine. Yeah, is this the end or just the beginning? Am I losing the winning? Is this reality or am I pretending? I'm Cain and Abel, I murdered my brother cause I'm able. Murdered myself because my alter ego's so unstable. You get that? If you didn't just sit back, then crack the six pack. I should be in the gym doing sit ups, trying to get this six pack. But forget that, where the click at? Where the bras and the cash and the whips at? Where the bit back? Where the bop? Where the bit, bit, bit back? <laughs> I just did that. Trying to focus on my get back, my get up, my re up, my rematch. A patch of seeds and Apache debris passing through Indian Springs in Las Vegas, my Jeep. Bumper Nirvana in Nevada. My favorite word is Medulla Oblongata. Just doing what I gotta. Is this the end or just the beginning? Am I losing or winning? Is this reality or am I pretending? That was poetry, huh? segment in his backyard in 06 man like I remember as a kid watching that like not quite that long ago in maybe 2008 when I got into the sport I was like yeah he was always around he was a cool dude he was doing stuff nobody else was doing he had like such a fun attitude in the sport where he would just go out if he wanted to do something he had these great visions and would just do them and get it done Jordy's style is like really gnarly and raw and super skinny so everything he wanted built was just you know, rake it, shovel it, and we'll ride it. Like, there was landings I built for him, and he's like, no, don't, don't, don't touch it. I thought, I'm just gonna ride it like that. <laughs> yeah, rough. He wanted it rough, yeah, rough man. Yeah. I mean, Jordy was like a professional rider ever since I was a little, little kid, you know what I mean? So, just raw, like, OG free ride. The landings aren't like, it's just gnarly. I, I don't know how to explain it, raw as f 
everything from these new videos and uh, just riding down trees. That's something that probably none of us mountain bikers have ever thought about. Jordy's the only one to think about that, so it's, it's crazy. And I have even a poster of his tree ride on my um, door. Yeah, you do, don't you? There's not very many people that could have rode that out, is there? No. No. Everyone says he, he was very, it was hard to approach Jordy because of like the fangs and the tattoos and the, the jackness. And he had tattoos everywhere. He looked a bit scary. So did his dog actually. I remember getting out of the car and his dog come over to me and I was like, it's gonna kill me. <laughs> and then Jordy walks over and he was like, shook my hand, like introduced himself, super friendly and like rode with him. He got stoked on my ride and I was stoked watching him. But when you actually meet him, he was just super kind and yeah, humble as well. Walking by and he's doing press ups while his dog's sitting beside him, you know? But he was a massive teddy bear. And it's a, uh, he was a really, really good guy to know. Good guy to uh, set your mind right and make, like, just, and his legendary status gave you some positive reinforcement, just a guy taking that time out to talk to you, you know? Like, he'd give a child his age the same amount of time as you give a, a man my age the same amount of time, you know? He was just a genuine dude, his heart was in the right place. And you could feel it being around him, you know? He just made people want to be there and do whatever he want, like, do whatever it was, you know? I think the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway about Jordy is that no matter who you were, what your scene was, he made it okay to be that person. And I think that's funny, like in the mountain bike hustle, all of us find each other, right? Like, there's a lot of like-minded people. Like, if you look at Jordy as the fact he was actually a gift, then it makes perfect sense to see the impact that he had on people, right? Because if you look at our crew, like, nobody's really that normal. Like, we kind of all have our things. And uh, no matter what that was or how hard it was, it always felt all right to be uh, to be that person when Jordy was around. Maybe because he took ownership of all the all the weirdness. Like he was always the weirdest dude in the room, and uh, I think that gave everybody else permission just to be who they were and uh, not worry about any kind of judgment. Like I think that's if, if anything, if Jordy could leave anything behind, I think it would be just take people for who they are and don't judge them until and, and just get to know them. Jordy as a person was king of the stoke. He'd always get you stoked. And if you were in your own head, he was the first man to pull you back out and tell you that it's not about being serious, it's about having fun. Hang with the boys, have some laughs, and then you'll find your where you need to be. I can't believe the amount of people that turned up today. It's a packed house, so uh, it's so awesome to see all the love and support. I mean, yeah, it just impacted so many, clearly. Everybody getting together to, you know, talk about or just like have a good time over something that's going to be sad, right? Within two days to get this going and to see the turnout is amazing. It warm, warms your heart. Shoulder hop here, I'm just getting it all day long. <laughs> <laughs> 